Hey guys, it's Sway here, back with an intro, actually, not even back with a video. I just wanted to do the intro real quick and let y'all know what I've been working on. And yes, I have finally been work done working on my Patreon. I felt like with the subscriber mark and followers that I've had so far, I felt like it would be a great way to benefit not only myself, but you guys the same thing. Since you guys are joining and have been joining the family and have been with me this far. And I really appreciate every single one of you. Obviously, buying Legos is pretty expensive, and I thought it would really help and pre uh, benefit the channel and benefit you guys because I really do this because of the love of Lego that I have. And I just wanted to share it with y'all. Obviously, I will be posting it on every single one of my videos, and I will have it on my um, uh, my profile on my channel, my main. Um, but definitely, I would really appreciate if y'all would check it out. But that's all I really wanted to say. Obviously, you guys know that I didn't start YouTube off to make money. Um, I just do it for the love of, of Lego that I have. And you guys follow my channel because for the lo love of Lego that you have. Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to just get, let y'all know that I haven't been just ghosting the whole channel. Um, obviously, but I just wanted to let y'all know that I've really been thinking about you guys. And I've really been wanting to do something new for the channel. So definitely check that Patreon out. And I would... Let myself start with the video. Hey guys, it's Sway back with another video and I have a review for y'all today. But I, my bad. And today I have, well, can't even read that. No. The Lego Ninjago Cool Speeder Car. So most of these sets that I got today is from my little adventure at Target and I said, why not? You know, I don't even have him. Let's do it. It's a collection. So this is the set number 71706. Has 52 pieces. It's ages four and up, obviously. Um, it comes with two figures. Um, I haven't seen Ninjago in a very long time. Um, I think the new concept that they're doing is very interesting in a way that it's really cool. Um, so yeah, here's going to be the front of the box. Give you a side view of it with what it brings and the two characters plus the speeder car. A um, little bit of an action scene. Obviously it's easy build since it's four and up. There's a set number in the Lego logo. Uh, same thing for here for the bottom. There's gonna be the barcode and the set number in the logos. Same thing for over here with the cool uh, minifigure decal right there. Um, here's the top of it right here for y'all. Um, and then you got the side view. So yeah, all right, let's get into it and I will be right back. Okay, awesome, now we're back. All right, so it wasn't that hard, hard of a build, obviously, um, since it's a four and up uh, set. Um, it only comes with one extra piece and it's this little horn that goes on this character right here. Um, but that's about it as far as extra pieces. Um, let me move the box out of the way out of the back. All right, so as far as minifigures, here's Cole. I just use his normal face, and here's his uh, sword right here. Um, I love the detailing on the decal that they actually put on him. I love that they're actually doing more detailing on the legs, even the belt right here. If I can just move that up a little bit. Um, he actually has two faces, obviously. He has his uh, normal face, and then he has his uh, more, uh, I guess, cybernetic, more into the game face right there. Um, but that's the back detailing right there for you on that decal. Um but yeah, I've always wanted to get a Cole figure ever since I started collecting Ninjago, but I finally got him. Even though it's in the set, I don't mind. All right, so let's take him off, which he's supposed to be attached, obviously, because it shows on the box to the actual speeder bike, but I just detach him for now. Here's a little uh, video cam controller. I love that detailing. I love that they're actually doing this with the actual uh, blade, light blade coming out of it. Um, get that out of the way, and then here's going to be his... Uh, detailing right there on his decal um obviously a little goes a long way um especially he has a little belt decal right there the print and he also has detailing on his legs and feet which is crazy because they don't tend to normally do that with some characters um here's the back detailing too for you um this is the exact same face that they've used for so many characters but i like that they're actually do doing something different with the colors it's not all the same um, but yeah, that's a minifigure right there. And you also got like, I guess his wave board. Um, it comes with two, uh, one by twos, uh, clear green plates neon on the bottom. Cause that's apparently what he rides as you can see on the actual 
instructions. And then here's his like the neon light uh, clear translucent green uh, chain that he uses. It's the same color as uh, Cole's blade back there. Um, put that back there. All right, and then here's the actual speeder bike. It wasn't that hard of a build. Obviously, this is just far enough. This whole bottom piece is just one big whole piece. Um, like I said, a little goes a long way, and I feel like the detailing that they did on this set's actually pretty cool, um, especially with the difference between the actual tires. Um, it's the exact same uh, middle rim piece. It's just different uh, size of tire, obviously. Um, this is all printed. Any detailing on here is actually printed. Uh, but yeah, um, here's a side view for you. And you got the two uh, actual... I guess they're called katanas, orange katanas in the back for detailing. Um, actually, if you wanted to, you could use it. Obviously, since it's Lego, you could use it to your imagination and use them as the actual uh, backup swords if you want to. It's up to you. Uh, imagination runs wild, and especially when it comes to Lego, you can do whatever the heck you want. Um, but yeah, that was the set all in total. Here's going to be the box back there again. Overall, great set. I definitely have to give it, uh, since it's a 4 and up, I definitely have to give it a 9 out of 10. I really wish... Um, they, to my opinion, they would add just a little bit more detailing, obviously, for the price that you're paying, it's like almost 10 bucks, obviously it's not that much, but to a certain degree, for 52 pieces, I wish it was just a little bit more detailing on as far as on it, um, when I say detailing, I don't mean stickers, um, that's literally, uh, most of the sets that you get with Legos tend to come more stickers than actual printed pieces, but overall, like I said, great set, 9 out of 10 in my opinion, um, but definitely, uh, I agree with this set as it being a good set, especially if you want to get it for your kid, uh, as a small set, a little gift, Christmas present, anything you want is a really good set. Um, but yeah, this was Sway back with another review. Uh, like that, uh, smash that like button, hit that subscribe also, hit that bell notification to get notified every time I post, and also to comment down below for anything you would like to see. Um, but yeah. I will see y'all in the next video.